Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a review of Ken Follett's Kingsbridge series alongside the TV shows. The Kingsbridge series is a series of books that takes place in the city of Kingsbridge over various centuries. The first one being Pillars of the Earth which is set during the 12th century and during the war of succession between King Stephen and Queen Maud. This one is probably one of my favourite historical fictions I've read, definitely my favourite in the series, and I would highly recommend it. This one is about the construction of the Cathedral of Kingsbridge during such a turbulent time, how um, the allegiances changed during the succession, and at its core, and most importantly, how ordinary people live during such turbulent times. For example, builders or people who run the like, fleece fair etc how they survive such a turbulent and difficult time um i loved all of the characters in this some of the characters namely being uh tom builder uh, his stepson jack his awful and evil son alfred his daughter oh, what's her name martha um aliena who is the daughter of an earl and her brother richard uh, Prior Philip, who I absolutely adore, and then some of the more villainous characters like William Hamley or Father Walleran. Um, the characters are the core of this book, and it is very nice to read a series about a character about characters that are not just the queens, the kings, and generals, and how a war of succession might impact a smaller village or town like Kingsbridge. So obviously, they are trying to construct this cathedral because it creates employment they are trying to run a fleece fair because it creates employment and it's how people survive and the aristocrats just don't care meaning that there is room for other aristocracy to uh, abuse those needs of the people i really enjoyed this and would definitely highly recommend it um, as i said it is primarily character focused i would check all of the trigger warnings there are definitely trigger warnings for abuse domestic violence and rape alongside other things like obviously murder and torture so i would recommend you check out the trigger warnings before picking it up the tv show for it i very much enjoyed i think that it was well cast it stars eddie redmayne um Ian mcshane rufus sewell hayley atwell sam claffin uh it does have uh, one of the sutherlands at the beginning um, it has it has a huge cast. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Um, it, I gave the book five stars. I gave the TV show four stars. It did slightly over dramatize things more than I felt necessary, and it did include a little bit too much content on the War of Succession for my liking. Given that I preferred for the primary focus being about Kingsbridge and not about the War of Succession. That being said, I would still very highly recommend both the TV show and the book. The second book in the series is Wild Without End. I gave this book four stars. I very much enjoyed it. I felt slightly less connected to the characters, hence why it is a lower rating. And this one takes place during the 1300s and is during the beginning of the Hundred Years' War and the Black Death. The primary focus of this one is A, the bridge that gets people across the river towards Kingsbridge has broken after all of the years of usage and an apprentice builder is learning how to fix it essentially and likewise we also have Karis who is studying medicine during a time where medicine is still considered witchcraft sort of by certain extremists and um yeah in this one it's how we fix the bridge and how we overcome the black death with um medicine and medical practice like hygiene etc it also deals with um stemming away from um from ecclesiastic rule which means that they, they are trying to also get a borough charter so that they are not dictated to by the church this again has a lot of political themes has a lot of uh, sociological themes and I really enjoyed it. Again, I didn't connect to the characters quite as much, but I still enjoyed reading it and I gave it four stars. The TV show, however, I did not enjoy it at all. I gave two stars. It is definitely over-dramatised. It puts way too much focus on literally every single 
important aristocrat there was during that time in history. It's not quite what I wanted out of the TV show. The acting isn't bad, but it's not great either. I don't know if that's just the way it's written because again, the characters aren't as good as well. Overall, I gave the TV show two stars and I didn't enjoy it and I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know why I watched the whole thing. The final book in the series is A Column of Fire, which is set during the end of the reign of uh, Mary Tudor and the beginning of Elizabeth of the Elizabethan time. The issue with this one, therefore, being that it is about uh, Protestantism versus, versus Catholicism. Uh, so in this one, we follow a Catholic family um, who are in power during Mary Tudor's reign. Then we have um, a Protestant, like a closeted Protestant family um, who are still pretending to be Catholic to survive. And then a family that literally just wishy-washy is in between because they just want to survive and they don't really care about which denomination of Christianity they are. Um, this one I did enjoy. I enjoyed more towards the end. It does also hit some, it hits on the feelings of people who loved the previous books. So for example, the Priory has been disbanded because under Henry VIII, he had all of the, um, the closing of the monasteries, which means that the Priory has been disbanded. So the cathedral still stands, but the Priory, which was something that we learned to care about a lot in the first book is disbanded. So it does hit on those feelings and the books all do that where they, um, will mention something from a previous book or at least have the previous book have an impact on your feelings in the next book, which I really enjoyed. However, this one takes place a lot more outside of Kingsbridge and has much more of a centre focus on um, current political affairs. So, for example, one of the characters we follow works for Elizabeth as one of her spies, um, etc. So it didn't quite work as well for me personally we do go also into the beginning of the reign of james the first because we do also have the gunpowder plot in here the problem with this is that there are already a lot of tudor books out there throughout english history it's probably the most talked about era in british history and it is probably also i live in the countryside what's the likelihood of a bike coming up here right now um it also discusses um, things that we see a lot of anyway, like Elizabeth's spy network, like Mary Tudor's obsessionism with Catholicism, like the gunpowder plot. So it doesn't have anything that isn't really hugely discussed in history like the previous two. And also it puts much more focus on the political climate as opposed to on Kingsbridge, which is the reason that I like these books. All of the bits that are set in Kingsbridge in this book, I very, very much enjoyed um as that is what i wanted to see i wanted to see how all of these changes religiously over the course of four monarchs felt to normal people to your average citizen and i didn't quite get as much of that as i wanted on paper this should have been one of ones i most enjoyed because it would have discussed something that is so overdone in a different way but it didn't do it quite as differently as i had hoped so I don't know if my expectations of this were tampered with, hence why it's a low star. Um, if this weren't part of the Kingsbridge series, I would have very much preferred it, I think. Um, but because it is a Kingsbridge book, I was hoping for it to have much more focus on civilians than it did. That is all from me today on the, the Kingsbridge series. Column of Fire, at least at the moment, does not have a TV show for me to review. But yeah. Uh, let me know if you have read any of these books, if you plan on reading the series or watching the TV shows, and um, if they are something that you would be interested in, if not, um, you know where all of the buttons are, so I will leave you to it, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.